When Paul Bedford asked some of us if we'd like to do a video thought for the day, he said, make sure that your camera is in landscape. Well, you can't get much more landscape than this. I've come out to High Hoyland for a few moments just to video this. I'm following the government social isolation guidelines, other than the odd passing car, cyclists out for their daily exercise, and a gentleman in his garden opposite. I am totally on my own. And I'm aware that for some, even the thought of being outside can fill you with dread. But I can tell you this is doing wonders for my mental health. I've actually been in social isolation for a couple of weeks longer than most of you watching this. When, as a family, we came back from holiday in Florida, I developed shingles. That immediately put me into personal isolation for two weeks prior to the start of the COVID-19 lockdown. And I've actually gone from a period of winter into now this glorious springtime. Noticing the difference, the trees were mere brown sticks. Now they're in leaf and blossom and bud. We're in the middle of the uh, uh, lambing season, although I can't wait for the start of the shearing season. We've been woken of a morning by a beautiful bird song, or maybe it's your own brood who wake you of a morning for your day to start homeschooling or Disney Plus or some other activities. But whatever, life continues, but somewhat differently. And I'm going to continue this from a somewhat different location. So we've come down into my garden, which is very much a work in progress, just like me. In the Gospel of John, we read that Jesus said to his disciples, in this life, you will have troubles. And at this point in the calendar, we, like the disciples, are in a period of hiatus, a pause, a break in continuity, not what we would normally expect to be happening. And in that six weeks period between the resurrection and when Jesus ascended back to the Father, he told his disciples to wait. But he also said, I am and I will be with you even to the very end of the age. And that was evidenced on the day of Pentecost when Jesus sent his Holy Spirit the counsellor, the one who comes alongside, the enabler, the one who so radically changed the disciples that the world was changed forever. And in the beginning of the book of Acts, just before Jesus ascended, the disciples said to him, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? In other words, are you going to make everything like it used to be? And in our own minds, we may be thinking at the minute, when are things going to get back to normal? What Jesus has done through the Holy Spirit is given us the resources that we need. For the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness and self-control. How much we need each one of those characteristics to help us at this point in time. My prayer for you is, at this point in time, we do spend the time to wait. We do spend the ta time to ask God to fill us afresh with his Holy Spirit, to give us the things that we need in order to, to help us more than survive and look forward to the future whatever that will be.